Hi guys, it's Mo. Um, so today I'm coming to you a little bit raggedy looking. Um, I am just back. Let me fix my hair. I am back from work. It's about, I don't know, like 5.30 or 6-ish. And I wanted to film a first impressions video um, because um, a recommendation, I guess, I don't know, I took it as a recommendation from Mel. Or Melissa, she's a beauty guru on YouTube, and I love her because of her southern accent. It just makes me feel at home <laughs> when I watch her videos. Um, so she was, she did some, I'm not sure if it was a foundation routine or what it was, but she used the um, Wet n Wild Coverall Foundation, um, and it's something that I totally dismissed because I was like, this is going to be cheap. It's not going to work for me. I have oily skin. Um, it's not going to cover anything. It's going to be pointless to pick this up for three ninety nine, four bucks, whatever it was. But she was saying, you know, it was giving her good coverage and, you know, just giving it a little bit of a good review. And I was like, hmm, maybe I'll pick it up. So I got mine. They only have a few shades. And I think they're more on the pinky side. And I think I'm more on the yellow side of foundations. So I got this. Um, cover all foundation in fair light because it was the only one that seemed to be more yellowy. All the other ones seemed like they weren't wouldn't really work great on my skin. Um, and I but I picked up the um, press powder cover all press powder in medium. I believe what does it say? Yeah, in medium. So just in case this is too light, I might be able to fix it with this. But I don't know. And on the back it says all day wear. I don't know. This is these claims. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to believe them, um, but it says all day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight satin matte finish, and Visibrite complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. I don't know. Four, four, four dollars? I think that's a big, those are big, big claims. My Neutrogena Shine Control Primer with it. I don't know. I feel like testing it, I don't know, maybe I should test it on its own, but testing it as if it were, you know, an everyday part, oh, you know, pin my things back, an everyday part of my foundation routine is going to be more beneficial than testing it on its own. So primer, Elf Complexion Perfection, I'm like nearly out, I don't even know if it's doing anything for me anymore, but I have a lot of redness and I think that the green really balances that out. So I tend to focus my brush over on that side. Powder is flying everywhere. I need to figure out a better way to film these things, but powder is just flying everywhere. Um, I'll just open it up. Oh, it has a little seal. I was not really worried about that, but it does have a little seal. You can pull it off. Cool. Oh, oh. I just dipped it on my leg. I should not have been flinging out. Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze out some. It is really liquidy. Like, if you can, I, this is, I squirted it on my leg on accident. This right here. I do like foundation in a squeeze tube. So, that's how um, Rimmel's is, and so I really like that. So, I think this is going to be actually a really good match for my skin. Maybe not. Now that I'm putting it on. Huh, this is really dark. Oh my gosh. Can you see this? This is this is really good coverage. I am impressed so far with this. Are you kidding me? This is like a perfect match for my skin. Well, in this light, can you can you see right now? This is nothing. There are red spots. I can see it. This has like almost the coverage of um, Revlon Color Stay. I would I would say. Oh my god, I can't believe I discounted this. Well, <laughs> I say that. I can't believe I discounted this foundation. I'm so glad I did this in a first impressions video. It feels like Rimmel um, 25 hour foundation. It feels like, it feels like this. I'd say they're about the same color too. So this feels a bit like this. I mean it has a really, I don't see any shine. It has a really matte finish. 
I can't. <laughs> I can't handle this. Let's see. I'm going to do another layer just to see. Oh, that's too much. I know that's too much. That That's still too much. Oh, my God. This is going to be too much. Yeah, that's too much. Okay, so I should not. It already feels a lot like I have too much product on now. So really like a second layer I think is not necessary. I am not getting any more coverage. We'll keep going. I have this horrible little guy on my chin that needs to be concealed with some of my glamouflage. This mess. I don't I don't play with this either. This is this is on point too. Oh god, that's so much. For being such a weird color, this I think is a really good color for me. Okay, that's much better. See, I didn't need that much. And I have this little spot right here that really lately does not want to hold foundation. And I think it's really covering it up. And it's so such a matte finish. There's no sheen at all. Okay, so I got the pressed powder in medium. It comes with a little sponge. I haven't used a sponge like this in ages, so I'm not going to use that. It doesn't have a mirror. If this if this impresses me as much as that foundation, this is like going in my bag. But it doesn't have a mirror. I don't really like the sponge, but I don't know. Okay, so... Hmm. I definitely don't think the powder and the... This might not really be my skin tone. I might have to mix up one of the two, which is fine because it's four dollars. Sheesh, Louise. Uh, it looks okay in this light, but I don't think it's gonna be in the the real light. Okay, so e just doing that like I normally would do with my um, Rimmel has gotten a lot of product on here. So I don't know. Should I just put on my face? I'm gonna shake it off a little bit. Powder flying around. I'm so sorry. So. Oh yeah. Oh, this feels nice. I can definitely feel the mattifyingness of this. I can just feel it sort of. If you don't need a lot of this, this is gonna last forever. So I definitely think the finish of this is a lot like using Rimmel 25 Hour Foundation and Rimmel Stay Matte. Yeah, overall, I am completely blown away by this. By the coverage, by the texture, by the finish, it's just amazing. I don't know. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I am, I totally dismiss this before completely dismissed it before so yeah i'll check back in with you guys tomorrow but i mean so far revlon i mean revlon wet and wild coverall holy moly this is amazing so i'll check with you i'll check back in with you tomorrow and yeah i just i can't get over it i'm gonna compare ingredients too okay all right guys i'll see you tomorrow bye Hey guys, so after I filmed the first part of this video, um, I actually uploaded it to my computer and I was sitting downstairs on our couch and I was watching it and trying to edit a little bit and we were having a really bad thunderstorm and all of a sudden the power went out. And so we lost power around 6, 6 or 7 p.m.-ish and we didn't get it back until after we had left for work the next day. So it was like at least 12 hours of no power in our house. So I didn't get to try out the Wet n Wild foundation, um, the Wet n Wild coverall foundation the next day. This is actually the day after I filmed that um, first reactions video. So um, I just wanted to do a little review, I guess, um, check in on how it wore throughout the day. I am not disappointed in it, but for 
four dollars or whatever this is a pretty impressive foundation I would say I mean I did I don't know if you can I don't know if you can tell it looks like I'm not wearing any blush or anything I look a little bit oily um, I didn't touch up or anything during the day I tend to not really do that anyway um, but yeah so I mean I think it I think it wore really well um, I can definitely see I guess some of my other makeup came off um, the the Wet n Wild coverall foundation is definitely still there. I don't see too many of my red spots or like imperfections or I don't see an uneven skin tone. It just is, you know, and my eyebrow is really not cute right now. I don't know what happened to it today. I had a really stressful day at work. Um, but yeah, I mean it wear I think it wears nicely. This is I put it on at 5.30 this morning. It is now, I don't know what time it is. It is now probably 5.30-ish right now. So that's 12 hours of wear. I mean, I, I mean, I'm satisfied with it. I mean, that's how long I normally wear all my other foundations. But I mean, overall, I'm satisfied with this. If, you know, if you only want to wear this for about maybe six or eight hours, you can probably get away with it. I would say if you're looking for something that, you know, is is good coverage, affordable, and it's not something you're going to wear. It doesn't have the like 25 hour or even 12 hour, 12 hour wear that some other foundations claim. As a comparison, I tried the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I think I put it away, yeah, because I don't like it. Okay, I tried the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, um, and that's going to be in my in my foundation wars um, post on the blog. This was completely no trace of it at all on my face by noon, like my first bathroom break of the day, not on my face at all. This is still here. I'm still satisfied. Compared, okay, compared to Revlon Colorstay, this feels much lighter. Um, when I'm wearing Revlon Colorstay, I can feel my oils coming through. I can feel the makeup on my face. It feels a bit thicker. It doesn't wear off like this. I don't feel I get as shiny with Revlon Colorstay. Um, so when it compares to that, this kind of falls short. To Rimmel 25 Hour, I'd say they're about, they wear about the same. I feel pretty much the same um, at the end of the day my, and look pretty much the same, I would say, the, these two compared to Rimmel and the Rimmel Stay Matte. Um, Revlon Nearly Naked wears a little bit longer on me. It feels lighter. Um, I like the coverage at the end of the day. I can I can't, I can't say that I feel it like I feel these on my skin or Rimmel on my skin or, or Revlon Colorstay on my skin. So I'm thinking Revlon, I know this is not, this is about the, the coverall foundation, but I'm thinking Revlon Nearly Naked is going to be my like new favorite. But I mean, and I still have other foundations I haven't even tried out yet. So this is a good, the overall gist of this is that this is a good foundation. The coverage is awesome. If you already have really good skin, um, this will probably be okay for you. It might be too much for you, but if you have just like redness maybe that you want to cover up, I think it's fine. If you have oily skin, you are going to have some breakthrough oiliness during the day. Uh, this is a 12 hours that I've been wearing this, and so I feel like you can get maybe six to eight hours wear out of this. So overall, I would say I'm very pleased and pleasantly surprised about these two products. Um, so I will probably keep using them. And if you want to pick them up and give them a try, I mean, they're affordable. You know, There you have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know, um, thumbs up if you want to see more um, first impressions videos. Uh, thumbs up if you like my beauty videos, if you think this is something that I should keep doing. And leave any comments down below. If this is on the blog, leave comments on the blog. If this is, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know how you feel about this foundation, what other foundations blew you away um, in the comments. Um, and any suggestions about anything you'd like to see, I would love it. Um, and especially if you have, I started doing these videos because I wanted to find, um, I couldn't find anything for my exact skin type. And I feel like, I mean, I guess that's all true with everyone. Everyone is different. But I started this because I really wanted to review things for my skin type because I wasn't seeing um, a lot of what I really wanted to see. So if you have the same skin type, scarring or whatnot, um, you know, let me know. Let me know if this helped you. I would really love it. So there you are. I hope you try this out and let me know your reactions. I mean, they're worth 
they're worth a couple bucks you'll throw at them. So thanks so much and subscribe if you haven't. I'd appreciate it. And have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.